Excellent! Time to turn in this quest. How's it going? If I said you had a good body, would you hold it against me? Um, would you like to make this in your home? No way! Bartender, around on me! Certainly. What's the occasion? I have this idea for a great movie. It's about two gnomes who find a bracelet of power, and they have to take it to the burning steps and cast it into the cauldron. They form the brotherhood of the- Listen, that's just terrible. I'll tell you a real story. It's about the damsel of Darnassus, and it begins in the small fishing village of Aberdeen. You see, in Aberdeen lived a young man named Nightarm, who spent his days fishing to support the village. But he wasn't happy. You see, he dreamed of becoming a great fighter. He would lay for hours in the fields of Darkshore, imagining himself as a noble warrior of his village and of the Alliance. He had no idea, of course, that one fateful night would change his life. Within the Nightel fortress of Darnassus dwelled Lady Zandralia, the prized daughter and only child of the Archdruid of Darnassus, whose love and ambition for his people was second only to that for his daughter's future. My lady, you summoned me? Karila, I grow weary of my sheltered palace life. Father means well, but he forbids me even from passing through the palace gates. You've seen the world. Please tell me what it's like. My lady, it is harsh and unforgiving. It breeds misery and hatred, a world unsuited for your grace. Your father loves you and provides you a life of comfort and tranquility. Life away from his protection offers nothing but turmoil and grief. Your words are well spoken. Thank you. I live to serve. But Zandralia was not content. She remained restless as her curiosity gnawed at her. Finally, she decided she must strike out on her own, and at once. She would wait until nightfall and sneak beyond the palace walls to the nearby harbor. From there, she would sail to a small coastal village. Isn't the dock wide enough for the both of us? Sheesh, woman riders these days. Woman riders? I thought I was doing you a favor by getting you closer to the fish. <laughs> <Don't shame. laughs> okay, let me make it up to you by buying you an ale. Fair enough. Night harm felt like a stud in Zandralia's presence, you know, Dr. Love. While Night harm showed Zandralia a life of freedom she'd never even imagined. As they made their way to the tranquil moon well, they lost themselves in each other's eyes. They felt drawn together. Could it be fate? Could it be love? Could they be horny? They spent the night in each other's embrace, laughing and talking and Wait a second, wait a second! He just fell asleep? What's wrong with this guy? Oi, shut up unless you want to pay for that last ale. Okay, okay, keep them coming. The tail and the ale. Well then, where was I? Oh yes. With ale in their bellies and love in their mind, they both slept soundly, unsuspecting of the danger that lurked near. (laughs) 
Sandralia? Sandralia? My Tarn, being a bit of adult, assumed she'd just left him. So although he had strong feelings for her, he decided to just let her go. Four days later, when walking through the village, Nightarm came across a sign. It read, Royal Rescue. Zandralia, the Darnassus princess, has gone missing. We request the aid of all qualified adventurers to bring her back. Your objective, speak with the Archdruid in the Cenarian Enclave in Darnassus. Slowly it sunk in. Nightarm realized that the princess had been kidnapped while he slept soundly right next to her. Stricken with grief, he swore he would rescue his princess. There were rumors about the village that Dwarven footprints had led away from the scene. He immediately packed his gear and grabbed his weapons and set out to find his lost love. Quiet peasant, I'm very busy. If you have a concern, speak with my officer downstairs. Apologies, your majesty, but I'm here in regards to your daughter's disappearance. <laughs> my liege, I have just heard word of your call to action. As a knight of the Alliance, it is my sworn duty to serve and protect. You are clearly a fine warrior. She was last seen wearing a white dress, but we have no clues as to her whereabouts. Make haste, for time is of the essence. Yes, my lord. Peasant, you are still here. What concern is my daughter to you? I aim to rescue her, your majesty. You aim to do that with a shovel. Do you know of what possible dangers lay ahead? Sir, I am resourceful and courageous. What I lack in armor and weapon, I can make up in mind and spirit. I cannot send my countrymen unaided to his death. Here, take this. And with that, the Archdruid handed Nightarm a fine set of armor that couldn't have been more than two or... 300 years old. What are you going to do? Dig a grave for yourself? <laughs> and so the brave knight arm set off with his new armor and sword to find the princess. <laughs> After days of searching with no sign of his love, Nightarm had almost lost hope, but then suddenly... Do my eyes deceive me? What kind of nature's being are you that can take a cat's form? Don't you know Drew when you see one? Call me Windslash. I am on a quest to rescue the fair lady Zandralia of Darnassus from her captives. If you would aid me, I would be forever in your debt. Anything for a hot babe. Hurry up. My back is killing me. And with that, the two set off towards Ironforge in the distant land of Don Moro. They travelled day and night through hard terrain and fierce weather. After conquering the perilous journey, our two adventurers reached the gates of Ironforge. Windslash knows Ironforge well. It took him no time at all to find his old friend Katinka. Although Katinka had some rather disturbing news. The tainted snow dwarfs had taken the princess even further away, this time all the way to the burning steps, which was the next point on their journey. Um, uh, just a second. I need to take a whiz behind that tree. <sighs> Sounds like rain. I don't see any clouds. Go over here. <gasps> What's this? A night off to find a sacred land with a tainted urine? What the hell is this? Uh, oh, take that! Uh, that cow! Uh, uh, stop! Uh, 
Can't you hold your liquor? Finish the story! Nonsense, I was just checking the ceiling for cracks. There she is! Centralia! The city of precious Princess Dragon's Meat! <laughs> Feel the wrath of the tainted Snow Dwarf clan! You're shaking. Who's the clan? I am the tainted Snow Dwarf clan! Huh? You? You noobs! I'll own both of you! I've killed a thousand horde just last week alone! I have an epic weapon, an epic shield, and I'm going to corpse up you all! Oh, this guy's gonna get an ass kicking. Oh. I don't think so. Good riddance. Let's get out of here. I'm sure my father's worried about me. Wait, I need to get this epic Santa cap drop that this dragon has. It's very important. Okay, but let's make it quick. Zandralia was safely returned to Darnassus, where her father cried tears of joy. The people everywhere sang and drank and rejoiced. Soon after, Zandralia and Night Arm were wed. Cheers to that.